throughout this game uh, compared to what you saw in the second half yesterday? Um, I like that when we didn't make shots to start the second half. Um, we still got stops. You know, we still showed them bodies. We still were rotating for each other. And um, we made good plays. So this team was playing with confidence. You know, I think we came in here on the second night of a back-to-back and imposed our will the whole game. We talked about this before, about just how much you enjoy battling against, you know, the better hoopers in the league. I know you just love hooping, period, but the other night, you got Jimmy and the Heat coming in in a couple of days. Just articulate how much, how much you enjoy these kind of battles out there. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see where you are early in the season, especially we don't play, I mean, um, going into this next game, we don't play the three, three teams, four teams that was in the playoffs last year, you know, so... Um, it was good to start the season off just seeing where you are individually and playing against different types of players. You get guys like Brad and, and, and Spencer who can put pressure on you and having a guard. So this stuff is fun just, you know, gauging yourself individually and as a team. Kevin, what has Patty brought to this group over the first week, particularly in terms of stability while you guys are trying out a lot of different lineups? Yeah, just um, professionalism, just a true pro, you know, through and through. Just how he approaches his craft every day is uh, inspiring to anybody, you know, um, especially when you know his story and when he, where he comes from. So just having that energy around every day um, is amazing. You know, he's beating his chest in the stands, uh, into the crowd, and making timely plays underneath the basket, getting still, just playing with energy. And, uh, you know, we're going to need that from him. You had a pretty big smile after that three at the end of the first half. Was there a conversation going on, or you were just laughing at pulling up over a double team from 26 feet. Yeah, me and Brad. I wanted to uh, come back and knock one down. So, yeah, me and, me and Brad, been, I got close this summer with Team USA. So uh, when you see one of your friends out there on the floor, it, you know, you compete a little harder, you know. So that was one of those moments. Really smooth transition because I think Brad started one for eight from the field, I don't know the box one for me, but just you speak to the effort you guys had defensively on him, and I think Spencer was also, you know, round one for eight, one for seven in the first quarter with that. Yeah, I think we made, we forced them into tough shots. Now, they're tough shot makers, and tonight just they just didn't hit them, but um, we forced them to shoot over a hand, and that's, that's usually the formula, and um, make them volume shooters, make their best players volume shooters, and we was able to do that. When you're, I guess, matched up against all-star caliber players like Bradley Beal, um, would you say you get more pride in being able to get a bucket against them or <clears throat> stopping them from getting buckets on their own? Uh, just both. Um, you know, I just want to make good plays on each end. And um, If I get a chance to guard Brad on the switch, I don't want him to feel like he can get anything easy. And if I catch him on the switch on the other end, I want him to work too. So I, I mean, all great players had that mentality, and Brad felt the same way. Um, you know, that's what, that's what makes this game beautiful, you know, everybody competing and understand what competing is, and um, I'm glad all of us did it tonight. Bruce Beck with NBC New York over Zoom. Hey, Kevin, was this closer tonight to what you expect from your ball club in terms of teamwork, chemistry, unselfishness? Um, yeah, I felt like we always had that unselfish um, <clears throat> energy around our team I and mean, we always had I felt like our chemistry uh, was growing pretty fast and learning how to play with one another um, but this was a good step in the right direction it was always good to get a W that's good for the, uh, just the morale of the team and uh, when you win um, so we want to build on it and keep growing I mean it's a long season it's still the first week of the season first few weeks of the season so we want to just keep keep fine-tuning After uh, the first three games where well, you guys had poor starts in all three of those, I I'm curious, what in your mind was the single biggest factor in getting out to a, a hot start in this game? I mean, did having Bruce in the lineup help with his defense, or was there something else? You I think this to? game change to start the game was was key for us. Um, Coach staff made a nice little adjustment there. Um, and on the pick and roll coverage and off ball coverage in order for us to, you know, um, have a better defensive start, and uh, that was good for us. And uh, we was able to switch it up and be versatile throughout the game, but to start us off, uh, 
you know, fighting over screens, playing in the drop pick and roll where guys got to get back into the ball, just made us more aggressive and kept us more engaged, and I think that was good for us. The turnovers, I think the non or season low, it, it, you've talked before through the first three games just about some of those being off of dumb decisions and, and lack of chemistry. Do you look at those as just cleaning up some of the, the fixable stuff or a growth in chemistry? Yeah, it's just, it's just guys trying to make plays. And sometimes when you got aggressive scorers that want to make plays, you're going to get turnovers. You know, you see, you look at the stat sheet and all the best players in the league have four or five turnovers in the game, you know, because they're trying to make something happen. And I think that's what we've been doing, trying to make things happen, and it just didn't work out sometimes. And teams capitalize on that. So if you get a turnover against us, um, you know, with the way we switch and how our defense is, <clears throat> You know, that's a that's when we're most vulnerable. That's when any team most vulnerable when you give up turnover. So um, in this league, everybody's playing fast, so they capitalize on that pretty quick. So you know, we got to uh, keep the ball in our hands and win the shot, win the possession battle. And I think tonight was one of those nights we did that. With the with a lot of the scorers in the league, sometimes we see that it's a variation of how long guys take before they make that first move. Uh, with you, it seems like you always make your first move pretty fast. I'm wondering, you know, when in your career you started doing that. Yeah, it's still a balance I'm trying to learn of how to play fast and, you know, when to slow down. I think earlier in my career, uh, teams were saying doubles as soon as I catch the ball in the post and mid post, pick and roll. So I always just think, all right, I got to score quick. And my coaches would always tell me that. And then as my career, I got to Golden State, got here. You know, you got uh, more penetrators on the team. Now I can slow down a bit. It's not as clogged up, and you got shooters everywhere. So, you know, I'm still trying to find a balance each game, each possession on I, when should I go fast, when should I take my time. But that's the beauty of our game. I thought it was a great response from the, um, the Charlotte game, second half of Charlotte. Um, you know, I thought we had a great start, which was a... Uh, you know, a response in itself and uh, something that we've we've suffered from poor starts. Um, we were much more, I think, disciplined on the details. We got back, we got matched up, we were physical and talked and communicated. So those were our priorities. The guys responded, and uh, I was really proud of their performance tonight. Coach, yesterday I asked if there was a singular thing that you were disappointed with in the second half. Um, but the things that you just highlighted, is there something that you're most proud of? Mm. I think just the uh, attitude and effort. You know, they came to play. Uh, the competitive spirit was there. You know, the discipline was there. But, you know, sometimes, you know, like tonight we shot the ball well early, but we didn't shoot the ball well tonight. But we played with pace. We created good opportunities for ourselves other than a couple pockets of the game. And then defensively, I thought our details were good and combative. You know, we got into people and you know, were physical with our defense and, um, and and made the extra efforts that I thought were missing in, in, uh, in last night's game. How much of a I don't know, breath of fresh air, whatever you want to describe, Patty Mills and what his, from an energy standpoint, um, an effort standpoint, what he's been able to give the group? Yeah, he's a winner. You know, he, you know, he he plays the right way. He's experienced. He obviously, you know, is skilled. Um, but he just brings uh, a great feel to the game. You know, with with without the ball, uh, defensively. You know, he he makes. Um, I think our team communicate better. Uh, he's he organizes us at both sides of the ball. So, you know, he just he brings a lot to the table, and uh, you know, he's a great addition to our team. Steve, it seems like in the first quarter you went a little bit deeper into the bench than you usually do. Just was that part of the experimenting you've been doing, and how do you think that worked out against some of those guys in Rondo? I think it was more a se uh, second night of a back-to-back -back early here. Um, we gave more guys a little bit of run, and I thought, you know, uh, you know, it was great. I thought guys gave us a lot of energy, and uh, you know, in particular, like Bruce and uh, DeAndre were great. Just um, you know, flying around, playing defense, getting their hands on balls, and. Uh, and, um, you know, kind of uh, making it difficult for Washington. So I'm really proud of uh, everyone's contributions. Given how last season went where you kind of were reluctant, for good reason, to not play guys on the second half of the back-to-back, -back, specifically Kevin and James, is it encouraging to see them be able to play this entire game pretty much? Mm, yeah, I think, uh, you know, we definitely want to pick our spots and, and try to protect them at times. But early here, I think the signs are positive. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can already the guys responded. And uh, I was really proud of their performance tonight. Coach, yesterday I asked if there was a singular thing that you were disappointed with in the second half. Um, but the things that you just highlighted, is there something that you're most proud of? Mm. I think just the uh, attitude and effort. You know, they came to play. Uh, the competitive spirit was there. You know, the discipline was there. But... You know, sometimes, 
you know, like tonight we shot the ball well early, but we didn't shoot the ball well tonight. But we played with pace. We created good opportunities for ourselves other than a couple pockets of the game. And then defensively, I thought our details were good and combative. You know, we got into people and you know, were physical with our defense and, um, and and made the extra efforts that I thought were missing in, in, uh, in last night's game. How much of a, I don't know, breath of fresh air, whatever you want to describe, Patty Mills and what his, from an energy standpoint, um, an effort standpoint, what he's been able to give the group. Yeah, he's a winner. You know, he, you know, he he plays the right way. He's experienced. He obviously, you know, is skilled. Um, but he just brings uh, a great feel to the game. You know, with with without the ball uh, defensively. You know, he he makes. Um, I